what's up guys this is girl venix and welcome back to another video today we're doing episode two of this new series model like an architect and today we're diving into materials for your architecture models if you're interested in architecture currently in architecture school or you just love making models but you're on ramen noodle budget this video is for you let's be real architecture school can be expensive no joke not all of us can afford to build fancy models made of plastic, thin wood, or carved terrain out of a giant foam block. So today, I'm sharing my best budget-friendly modeling tips to help you save money while still making clean, beautiful models and maybe something that you can display later on. These are tips that I've learned throughout my time in school, covering everything from topography materials, modeling buildings on a budget, to tricks for entourage. So if you're trying to build solid models without breaking a bank, I got you. So. Let's get started. Understanding study versus detailed models. Before anything else, let's clarify the difference between a study model and a detail model. A study model is used during the design process to explore ideas and iterations. It's not meant to be super detailed because you'll be doing a lot of testing and moving components around. A detailed model is what I call it your final model. This is where you go all out. This includes finished materials, entourage, and the full representation of your vision. Tip, don't spend too much time, effort, or money on a study model. Save the fancy stuff for your final. Starting with topography. Topography is a study and representation of the physical features of a site, including elevation, landforms, and both natural and artificial elements. Professors often assign site models to help you understand relationships like slope, elevation, and how a building integrates into the landscape. Number one, cardboard. Now hear me out. Cardboard can actually look really great when cleanly cut. The corrugation adds a unique texture. You can buy it at Walmart or get it for free if it's accessible. You can even ask the staff for leftover packaging boxes. Just be polite and explain your project. It's free, sustainable, and effective. Number two, foam board. Available at craft stores, stationery shops, Walmart, Target. Though if you're making an all white model, be careful because it does get dirty fast. So wash your hands often. Foam board is especially useful for steep topography due to its thickness. Materials for building models. For the walls, I'd recommend chipboard. It's great for both study and final models. It comes in various colors and thicknesses. Please note that the light colors white gray it will show the laser cutter marks so that's why i kind of gravitate towards the neutral chipboard though it does have a distinct huh? smell it's flexible easy to bend score and cut number two cardstock neutral colors works best as you can see in this bubble you can etch surface patterns like bricks to simulate facade details if gluing the cardstock on chipboard, do not over glue. Just secure the edges with super glue. If you put too much, the glue might show through and it might cause warping towards the material and the paper. This is an example of one of my grad school projects. Our team used cardstock and we etched out a cladding pattern and a brick pattern for the panels. For glass or transparent elements, we can use vellum, it costs as little as 20 cents per sheet. A flexible, affordable solution for acrylic. Number two, transparent sheets. Another one that's good for glass or textured water features. It comes in multiple packs, so consider splitting it with a friend if you don't need a full pack. Next is entourage. You can visit a park, collect twigs or branches. Just bring a buddy because it's safer and you won't look too suspicious. These are great to represent realistic trees. Number two, sponges. You can do it yourself with your own foliage. It takes time, but it looks fantastic in monochrome models. It adds depth and character to your presentation. You can check out my latest video on creating sponge trees with wire. Fake baby's breath. It is affordable and a time saver. You can always split with friends if you don't need the whole bunch. Miniature people, trees, and cars. You can purchase these online and I would invest in bulk packs if you're working on a large scale model or generally any future models. This is also very efficient because you don't have to laser cut your entourage. You can just plop it in your model and can be good to go. Detail ideas. There's barbecue skewers for great wood textures or repeating architectural patterns. Just remember to trim the edges and please do not use chewed up barbecue stick guys. Next is popsicle sticks. It's cheap 
around $4 per pack. You can cut sizes for structures, cladding, or framing. Next is a stitch canvas. It's flexible, very easy to cut, and it works well for fences or facade textures. Planning your final architecture model. If you're in the process of making your architecture model for your final, I recommend sketching out a plan of what materials you intend to use for your model. It's easy to go ahead and be more proficient in your process. Okay guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that this gave you a solid starting point for budget-friendly modeling in architecture school. If you have any money-saving hacks or creative materials that you love using, drop them in the comments below. I love to hear them. Don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe if you find it helpful, share it with a friend, a family member, someone who needs these tips. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!